Searching for monoliths scattered throughout dungeons and infields or stone monuments or monoliths written by persons unknown to detail lost battle techniques. After finding one, you can check its teachings at any time in the battle section of the system book. For each one you find, you will gain AP, which is necessary for setting battle actions. When you find one, press X to investigate it further. Okay, it appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. As you fight more battles, you will level up and acquire new martial arts, charging and piercing, mobile and area of effect arts. Switch them up as needed, depending on how the battle is going. Alright. AP increased by one. Sweet. I like it. I like it. So that was a Hellion. Yeah, and I doubt it's the only one. We need to get out of here as quietly and quickly as we can. Sounds like a plan. What's in this chest? Apple gel. Nice. Very nice. Oh, there is one of them. Get away from me, you freak of nature. I don't have time to deal with your shenanigans. Have I just gone the wrong way? Wait a minute. Looked up at the minimap right now and saw that I missed this path right here. Right here is where I need to go. All right, sweet. Mikleo, I hope you're keeping up with me because I'm definitely not watching out for you at the moment. I think we we just went down. Uh, look at the, the save points look so cool and then they open up. Ah, I love that. That's really cool. Do do. All right, I am able to have two separate save files, which I may need in the future. No, I wanted to override it. I didn't realize. Curse you. There we go. I don't want to have to go through any tutorial stuff again. All right. Wait, what is that? L3, the cause of thunder. Is this like a skit? That human probably got caught up in all the lightning just like we did. More like the other way around. We have her to thank for all that crash boom bang. That lightning. That was Gramps, wasn't it? Yeah. It's a warning to invaders. Not one more step. <sighs> Sorry, Gramps. I can't just leave someone who needs help. Huh. This is turning into an eventful day for once. That was a cool monolith. We've had quite a bounty of discoveries today. If I'm not mistaken, that stone is a lot newer than the surrounding ruins. Yeah, it's from a completely different age. It read like advice of some sort. Most likely it's a guidepost left by previous visitors to aid fellow travelers. So we're not the only ones who go around investigating ruins. Humans have terms for them. Things like adventurer or explorer. Explorers. I would have gone with adventurers myself, but you know, whatever. Uh, oh, she's right over there. Okay, so we're on the opposite side. We have gone down and are now on the same floor as her. There's a Hellion on the floor, or on the ceiling, I mean, which is the exact opposite of the floor, but I said floor first. More apple gel. Always glad to have some. Don't see anything there. What do we have in this monolith? The ancient tongue. We're near one. It appears to be wisdom pertaining to battles written in an ancient tongue. Guarding, if the enemy guards against your action, SC recovery rate is halved until your next move. If an enemy successfully blocks your first attack, it's likely to keep blocking any further ones. Take care not to just combo indiscriminately. Note that this rule applies to enemies as well, so if your goal is to deplete their SC, guarding is a smart move. Okay. All these Hellions need to just screw off. I ain't got time for their shenanigans. Well, we're going back up, but we're going to be on the opposite side now, so I don't entirely know where I'm going at the moment. Uh, there's only one way to find out. I heard another Hellion. Yep, it's right there. Get me through here. Oh, no. I don't want to fight this spider. Ancient circlet. Circlet unearthed from ancient ruins. All right, yeah, I understand. I get the gist of it. I should probably equip this stuff. Top menu, okay. Uh, battle actions. Auto guard, auto backstep. All right, I don't think I need to... I'm pretty sure... What is snipe charge? Defend for one or more seconds and the effect potential of your next attack. How do I... Okay, there you go. Doubles. Oh, okay. Sounds cool. Uh, equipment. Do do. Each piece of equipment has four skill slots into which skills can be attached. I like the sound of that. The skill in the first slot is preset for each item. The skill, if any, in the other three slots are determined when you acquire the item. Gain. Okay. You can check which skills you have equipped by opening the skill sheet with R2. Skill types. There are two major types of skill outlined in the skill sheet. The basic skills attached to your equipment skill slots and bonus skills activated by certain arrangements of basic skills. There are three methods of activating bonus skills. Uh, created uh, stack. Created by equipping multiple copies of the same basic skill. The number indicates how many of that skill is required. Equip two or more to activate a bonus skill. All right. Elemental union. Created by equipping skills directly adjacent to each other on the left or right. Line up two or more to activate a bonus skill. Okay. Group union. Created by 
equipping a vertical column of skills in one group. Line up all five skills in a group to activate a bonus skill. Uh, it's perfectly fine to select equipment based on its parameters, but by combining different skills, you may discover surprisingly effective interactions. Take a little time to try out different types of skills and find the ones best suited to your playstyle. Alright, so I've got Spiri, which is Focus plus 4, Defens, which is Defense plus 4, and then Gain, HP recovered upon defeating enemy plus 60. That's by my Ancient Shord. Okay. Those are by my Boots. Alright. And then your uh, Ancient Staff gives you Primor. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, I also wanted to look at the, uh... What's the difference? They're like the exact same. Yeah, they've already... I don't understand. Why would I... Okay. Whatever. What arts do I have? Uh, martial arts. Whoops. Uh, L plus up, none. What do I have up here? Okay, so this is circle plus... Alright. So I can do true fang, a wind magic, with... Okay, so circle is how I use my arts, like my magical arts. Okay. Alright then. Do-do. What do we have here? What's this? Whoa! What the... I'll be taking this. If you get too hung up on fiddling with it, we'll never get out of here. I'll give it back once we return safely. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. Whatever you say, McLeo. You think there's a path to the other side? There's gotta be a way through. Let's look around for clues. We should split up. I hear that's a great idea so when searching close, for things. But it's still so far. Think we could jump? Only one way to find out. The only way to find out is to jump. It does not sound like a good idea. We're going to check out this monolith first. It appears to be wisdom, yada yada. The lower your C SC, S is first, the higher the damage you inflict, but this is generally not recommended. SC recovery rate is proportional to your SC level, so low SC also means slow recovery. Fighting while maintaining a high SC is more effective than attacking until it completely runs out. Of course, there are times when going all out is worth it, like when enemies are stunned. That's important is the, your balance approach. I'm sure that I will learn more of how all those shenanigans work the more we play. I want to go over here and grab whatever this is. It's probably just some random item I can pick up, but you never know. It might be something really useful. What are you? Lavender. That sounds worth it to me. Stat boost things I rarely use because I always hoard them, but uh, when I do use them, they're helpful. Well, I can make that. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Hey, watch out! Don't scare me like that. Sorry about that. I could totally make this jump. 100%. You'd think there would be something. It doesn't look like anywhere in the upper floor leads to the other side. Let's check the lower floor one more time. Oh, dude, come on. Stop being such a pansy. You can totally make that jump. Like, come on. Well, we definitely can't make it from here. There should be a connected point somewhere. Let's go back and see what we can find. Or let's stop being babies and make the freaking jump. There's a plan. I like that plan. I hear a heli in the epic's right there. Stupid thing. Should have just jumped like a man. It's what we should have done. Leave me alone. Invisible floor? I see. So that's the deal. Huh? Haven't figured it out. Y yeah, I have. So I haven't figured it out, huh? Yep, there's a staircase there coming up from below. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? I mean, it's an invisible floor, I'm pretty sure. But I am i guess two is the best answer I can give. It's not that you can walk on midair. I'm pretty sure there's an invisible floor, but whatever. Who would have thought that you could walk in midair here? Or that an invisible bridge would be here. Think it could support a person? Well, well, aren't you sharp today? <laughs> For a change. Psh. Why didn't you use Seems safe enough? Yeah. Why didn't you do the magic thing before where it showed stuff instead of like whatever? 
The Invisible Bridge! Unique to each area are discovery points indicating a place of note in that area. When you know it's close but can't pinpoint it, use R to look around the area. Save points for to do the L3 prompt, blah, 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 for skits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. This bridge is incredible. How do you think it was made? I think this is beyond the capabilities of human technology. So, like, the bridge alone might date from the era of the gods? Possibly. But either way, they definitely had assistance, whether from Seraphim like me or someone else. They really didn't want anyone to reach the other side. The path ahead leads to Elysia. It stands to reason that they do what they can to protect the Pure Land. In the past, any pilgrims who showed up at the shrine probably thought the gap was simply uncrossable. Same as we did until just minutes ago. But good job picking up on that. Your intuition is always impressive. Oh yeah? For its rarity. There we go. I knew it was too good to be true. So, Miklio, at least, is a Seraphim. But he said Seraphim like me, which leads me to believe that Sore might not be a Seraphim. Or he is, I don't know. We obviously need more information. Hello. I've come to save you. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you alright? Uh, huh. <sighs> I was... I was in a forest, and then... <sighs> Looking for this? She's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. I'm sorry to have troubled you. And you are? Your name. Uh, oh. Right. My name. I'm Saray. Saray? Yep. Nice to meet you. Well met. Is there anywhere one could rest around here? I'll need to make plans to get back to the capital. You're from the city? Well... Um... Hmm. Why don't you come to where I live? Saray, are you nuts? Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons, but you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, that's the way out. Let's get moving. So she can't see Miklio because Miklio is a, ser a seraphim, and humans can't see seraphims, is what I'm guessing. I'll go on ahead, Miklio. Shh, keep your voice down or she'll think you're a basket case. I'll be fine, don't worry. Hey, are you alright? I appreciate the concern, but I am fine. Lead the way, I'm right behind you. Are they both following me now? Yep, everyone's following me. Alright, cool. What happens if she, like, walks into Miklio? Does he, like, not exist for her? Will she just go through his body? Or will, uh... Will she actually just come in contact with him and she won't understand what she's coming into contact with because, uh, she can't see him? Interesting questions that I want answers to. We're going down here first to see what's happening down here. There's a save point, first of all. Very nice. And what is this? This looks like something I'm supposed to come back to later. It won't open. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of hidden mechanism, though. How strange. Well, yeah, that's something I come back to later then. All right. Uh, this girl is also on the box art, as is Miklio and Sore. So that obviously tells me that she is a main character. So we already have three of the main characters. There are normally anywhere from six to nine main characters in a Tales game. 